More depressing news is pouring in from Italy, which has now become the worst hit nation from the novel coronavirus outbreak. Italy reported at least 800 new deaths in the last 24 hours as the death health system in the country is reportedly thrown out of gear with death toll crossing 4,800. Good morning, I am Bipashna Tamang and these are the headlines of the hour. 64 passengers who arrived from the countries facing government's flight prohibitions sent to quarantine. Number of people leaving Kathmandu Valley and entering via border transit soars. Local and provincial governments remain indifferent towards precautionary measures against novel coronavirus, attributed to lack of coordination among three levels of government. Foreign tourists in the country extend their visas following government's imposition of preventive measures against coronavirus. 10,000 tourists extend their visas in a single week. And at least 800 people killed in Italy in the last 24 hours as the death toll from the novel coronavirus crosses 13,000 mark. 64 Nepali nationals who flew back from the countries with flight restriction imposed by the government have been sent to quarantine at Karipati based training center of Nepal Electricity Authority. International Airlines companies Air India and Thai Airways carried Nepali passengers to Thrivuvan International Airport on Saturday despite restriction imposed by the government of Nepal. Passengers from Malaysia and Japan, among other countries, had arrived from Thai Airways, while passengers from Dubai had used Air India flight. The government has already restricted flight connection from these countries. The government, however, has not decided yet to take any steps against Civil Aviation Authority and TIA who have permitted flights from these nations. The passengers will be kept in quarantine for 14 days to detect if they have contracted coronavirus infection or not. A large number of people in Kathmandu Valley have started returning to their home districts after the government decided to ban all long road vehicles from midnight to night in view of the risk of the coronavirus outbreak in the country. People in the capital have thronged the airport's domestic terminal and bus parks in the last few days. Almost 150,000 people left for their home districts on Saturday alone, while others were left stranded due to lack of tickets. Hundreds of thousands of people from different districts reside in Kathmandu Valley for studies and employment. A majority of them, however, have been rushing to their home districts recently following the partial lockdown imposed by the government to confront the risk of novel coronavirus outbreak in the country. Whereas the long road bus operators have been imposing exorbitant fares from passengers taking undue advantage of people flocking to their homes outside the valley. Many passengers have even been travelling by reserving vehicles on their own. Meanwhile, a large number of people have started entering Nepal from major border transits as more coronavirus cases are reported in the Indian cities. However, the basic precautionary measures on individuals entering the country through the open border have not been followed. The government has jumped into action, taking a number of decisions to contain the risk of COVID-19 outbreak in the country. However, the local and provincial governments have been reluctant in implementing and facilitating the government's decisions. The government has restricted mass gatherings at public places to avoid the spread of the coronavirus. Meanwhile, the number of people living in Kathmandu Valley and those entering the country from border points has increased following the precautionary measures imposed by the government. The movement of passengers have drastically surged at bus parks, hotels at highways and border points. However, even routine medical checkups have not been carried out at such places. The vehicles and ticket counters have not been disinfected while there is lack of precautionary measures have been implemented along highways. This exhibits the lack of coordination among the central, provincial and local governments to contain the risk of the possible coronavirus outbreak in the country. 
It is crucial to escalate the preventive measures at the local level as there is high risk of contamination due to a large number of people traveling in and out of the country along with people entering their home districts from the cities. As per the government's mandatory provision, any individual coming from abroad or cities should remain in self-quarantine for 14 days. Likewise, mass gathering at the public places are restricted and security Measures at the border points are mandatory, which are supposed to be monitored by the local and provincial authorities. However, none of the provisions have been strictly monitored by the local and provincial governments. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli, during his address to the nation, had said that the government would take further decisions depending on the situation, stating that the central government is very sensitive towards the consequences of the possible outbreak. It is deemed crucial for the provincial and local governments to be responsible and active in coordinating with the central government in containing the possible coronavirus outbreak in the country. Meanwhile, the National Public Health Laboratory had received 55 samples yesterday for a test in suspicion of coronavirus infection among which the test of 30 samples were done yesterday, whereas the result is expected to, be co to come today and remaining 25 samples will be tested today. According to the lab, it has tested 580 samples so far, among which all the samples tested negative to the virus. The laboratory received three samples from the lake, two from Surkhet, one from Raswa and Kavri each, five from Butwal, eight from Patan Hospital, five from Sukraraj Tropical Hospital and remaining from several private hospitals in the capital. And we'll take a short break here. We have more news coming up. Welcome back. Many countries around the world have barred their citizens from leaving their homes in, a, in view of the global coronavirus outbreak. Nepal has so far been spared from the outbreak, even as the government has started imposing stringent measures to confront possible spread of coronavirus in the country. The foreign tourists in the country are also reluctant to return to their home countries. Over 10,000 foreign tourists have extended their visas in the past one week. The number is twice compared to the previous month. The foreign nationals have extended their visas from one week to two months. Many countries around the world have already imposed restrictions in immigration due to the global outbreak of novel coronavirus. Although the foreign tourists have cited different reasons for their decision to extend their visas, the tourism businesses are of the view that a majority of them have taken this step, considering Nepal as a safe destination from COVID-19 infection compared to other countries. And time now for the international update. The Italian region of Lombardy has introduced stricter measures in a bid to tackle the spread of coronavirus. The move comes as Italy reported nearly 800 coronavirus deaths on last 24 hours and saw its toll further past month reached 4,825, the highest in the world. Lombardy is the worst affected region in the country with 3,095 deaths. Under the new rules announced late on Saturday, sports and physical activities outside, even individually, is banned. Using vending machines is forbidden. The region's president, Attilio Fontana, announced the new measures in a statement. Lombardy has been under a lockdown since 8th of March and the government has had hoped to see results there first. Almost all Italians have been told to stay at home. Italy's National Health Institute chief Silvio Brussaferro urged the elderly to stay indoors. The average age of Italy's victims is 78.5. Despite the measures, the number of new cases and deaths has continued to grow. There have been 305,000 cases of the virus worldwide with more than 13,000 deaths. In Spain, the health ministry has reported a 32% spike in new deaths from COVID-19 with 1,326 confirmed deaths, the second highest in Europe after Italy.
In a news conference on Saturday night, Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez warned the worst is yet to come and that very difficult days lay ahead. The government has issued a lockdown for some 46 million people who are only allowed to leave their homes for essential work, food shopping and medical reasons. A number of world leaders and political figures have told citizens to stick to rules. And we have more news coming up, but right now it's time for yet another short break. And in our Public Voice segment, we are asked the residents of Khara Devi Rural Municipality in Ramechap, how have they found the service after the establishment of their local government? Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public Voice. I am going to 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 I lay your suvida, I'm the Ipa Asam Nazigay. She was a bad Yamza Mante or Ozebani, you don't tell you, Peripani, Ozebani Rambro Hos, you pick a slay, Punetani and Eresi, Costasar Novergan, Rambro Sangati, Devasta Hos, Bikas Hos, but near at Sahana. and it's time now for our segment Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. And here's the question, what's your take on the role of local and provincial governments in containing the risk of COVID-19? The options are option A, appreciable, option B, satisfactory, and option C, trend of relying on others. The voting is on, type NEWS, select your options A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And time now for the sports update. Sports News. Former... Real Madrid president Lorenzo Sanz has died aged 76 due to coronavirus infection, his son Lorenzo said on Saturday. The former Real Madrid president was taken to hospital on Tuesday as he had been suffering from the novel coronavirus. According to his son Lorenzo Sanz Zunia, he had a respiratory disease. Sanz presided over the club between 1995 and 2000, in which they won two Champions League titles and one La Liga crown, among other trophies. Their 1998 Champions League triumph was the first time they had won Europe's top prize, which they had have lifted a record 13 times in 32 years. Argentina striker Paolo Diabala said Saturday that he has become the third Juventus player to test positive for coronavirus, while former AC Milan defender Paolo Maldini revealed that he and his son have also been infected. The 26-year-old Diabala tweeted that he and his girlfriend Oriana had received the COVID-19 test results and that they were positive. Meanwhile, he also informed that they were fine. Italian champions Juventus said that Diabala had been self-isolating since Wednesday. A club statement said that Diabala also would continue to be monitored. Later Saturday, the club said Maldini, now the technical director at Milan, and his 18-year-old son Daniel, a youth team player, were also battling the disease. The club added that Paolo and Daniel were both well and have already completed two weeks at home without contact with others. Maldini, 51, is considered one of the greatest defenders of all time. He won five Champions Leagues with Milan and appeared in 647 matches. Juventus teammates Daniel Rugani and Blaise Matuidi have also tested positive for their disease, which claimed almost 800 more lives on Saturday, bringing, bringing the total in Italy to 4,825. And it's time now for our special segment around the world. Four Indian men convicted of the gang rape and murder of a student in Delhi in 2012 were hanged to death on Friday. Akshay Thakur, Vinay Sharma, Pawan Gupta and Mukesh Singh were first sentenced to death by a trial court in 2013. 
The four were hanged in the capital's high-security Dihar prison in the first executions in India since 2015. The victim, dubbed Nirbhaya, the fearless by media, died from her injuries days after being raped by six men on a moving bus. Six people were arrested for the attack. One of them, Ram Singh, was found dead in jail in March 2013, having apparently taken his own life. Another, who was 17 at the time of the attack, was released in 2015 after serving three years in a reform facility, the maximum term possible for a juvenile in India. The global death toll due to coronavirus has exceeded 11,000, with Italy losing over 4,000 lives to the virus. Health officials maintained the virus affects those with low immunity the most, resulting in active youths understanding that they are somewhat immune to the virus. However, Director General for WHO this week warned young people are not invincible. Today, I have a message for young people. You're not invincible. This virus could put you in hospital for weeks or even kill you. Even if you don't get sick, the choices you make about where you go could be the difference between life and death for someone else. As countries impose lockdown to prevent the virus spread, businesses have gone down and public places across the world that are usually crowded are empty. Italians limited to their houses try to boost each other's morale by singing songs from their balconies. Neighborhood residents in the Bavarian town of Bamberg, Germany, too, got their instruments out in solidarity with Italy, where the death toll from coronavirus outbreak continues to climb. U.S. President Donald Trump on Friday capped a tumultuous week as Americans faced sweeping life changes and massive Wall Street losses amid the fast-spreading coronavirus outbreak by attacking the media. In a contentious press briefing, the Republican president lashed out at an NBC reporter who noted Trump's tendency to put an optimistic spin on the situation and asked what his message was to the American people who may be scared. Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Go ahead. This is Sarah Sapsanama for Around the World and Kantipu News Desk. And before wrapping up, here's a look at the top stories one more time. 64 passengers who arrived from the countries facing government's flight prohibition sent to quarantine. Number of people leaving Kathmandu Valley and entering via border transit soars. Local and provincial governments remain indifferent towards precautionary measures against novel coronavirus, attributed to lack of coordination among three levels of government. Foreign tourists in the country extend their visas following government's imposition of preventive measures against coronavirus. 10,000 tourists extend their visas in a single week. And at least 800 people killed in Italy in the last 24 hours as the death toll from the novel coronavirus crosses 13,000 mark. And that's all for the moment. Keep watching Kantipur Television HD for more news and entertainment. Have a great day ahead.